Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. This time we're going to be talking about the grid tracker settings. This is the second of three videos about grid tracker. The first looked at the map. The second, this one, uh, will look at the settings. And the third will look at the uh, available options under the control panel. If you haven't watched the first video yet, there's some additional information there that I didn't include in this video. Uh, you won't be totally lost as the information is background to the entire series. So the decision to watch it in order or however you want to watch it is completely up to you. Uh, please take a moment to give me a like by popping that thumbs up icon. Like me. Most of this information came from the gridtracker.org wiki and I put a link to it down in the video description. Uh, these videos are from a 10,000 foot look. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to be briefly mentioning that the stuff exists. And uh, I'll leave it up to you to go to the wiki and get a full description on something that piques your interest. There are a lot of menu options under the settings that allow the user to optimize the grid tracker to suit their specific preferences. We'll go through each of the submenus and discuss them briefly. But for more information, like I said before, see the wiki link in the video description. To open up the settings, go over here to the control panel and find this little icon right here and click on it. That's going to bring up the uh, settings menus. Uh, the general tab shows your applicable status, receive UDP messages, uh, multicast, uh, default port for uh, receiving UDPs, and forwarding UDP messages with the IP and port defined. Uh, there's also one other that I want to show you, but I'll show you at the almost very end. The lookup tabs right here uh, controls which internet websites are used for call sign lookup as well as operation of the lookup functions. Uh, audio tab uh, sets your uh, text to speech uh, alert functions and uh, works with the alert tabs that we'll discuss a little later when we get to it. The map tab is the sub-menu that controls the appearance of uh, QRZ path overlays, PSK spot information, and other low overlay features, and what shows what's uh, happening with active stations. It also allows you to select over 30 different alternatives, right there, and there's 30 different alternatives, uh, maps that you can use. Uh, a fun one is uh, this uh, right here, fit map to QRZ, and I'm not going to I'm not going to click it. But uh, what that does is it allows the uh, uh, grid tracker to automatically size your map and recenter it so that the map dis map displays both your position and the grid of uh, the other station that you're working. Uh, you can change the colors, and uh, if you look at the blue track here. You see I just turned it to green, to orange, to white, uh, but I prefer having it right here on this blue. Uh, it really stands out against the map. Uh, the grid tab right here allows you to adjust the colors that are down in your legend and uh, also allows you to adjust opacity here so that you can actually see through uh, so that way this this grid right here uh, EM 15 uh, you can see that it's Oklahoma City is behind there uh, whereas if I were to increase the opacity it would uh, cover that up uh, alerts uh, are the logging tab uh, uh, allows you a lot of options for importing and exporting QSO data uh, to external websites and software logging programs. You can see that I have Logbook of the World selected here 
and uh, this will uh, anytime I make a contact and it's confirmed by adding it to my WSJT log uh, it gets uh, also simultaneously updated on uh, logbook of the world the alerts tab right here uh, has options to set automatic alerts uh, audio alerts for uh, current traffic that you're receiving and uh, you recall back here in the audio I mentioned that we'd be talking about this now uh, I've got all of my uh, alerts turned down uh, uh, disabled uh, because uh, when I had them enabled I got so many alerts uh, so many constant alerts that uh, it got very very frustrating and very confusing with my computer shouting at me that this whole thing was uh, 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 <laughs> it, it, it just uh, was better for me to shut it off your mileage may vary now the call roster tab works in conjunction with this tab over here in the control panel which we'll show you but basically uh, allows you to uh, set your your talk to speech and putting your windows on top you know just how this is going to appear uh, ohms spelled o-a-m-s but pronounced ohms uh, is an off-the-air message service of grid tracker and log for OM and it allows users to share their on-air status uh, chat with other users and permits real-time spotting the user logbook right here uh, allows you to tailor the grid tracker logbook and its statistics to individual call signs and or a specific time the update tab will display uh, current update notes for the version of grid tracker that you're using I don't know why they're not displaying now but uh, they were earlier uh, and the about tab shows you your current grid tracker uh, now I want to go back here to general and show that you can check for a new version so you uh, just click on this and it's going to tell me that my grid tracker is up to date I'm using the most current version and that's a quick tour of the grid tracker settings. The next video in this series will start where this one leaves off and we'll take a look at the control panel options available to you. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat about the grid tracker settings. My goal for these videos was to give you enough information to get on grid tracker and start to play. If you find something that I haven't covered here, please leave a comment. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed watching me, thank you. Please give me a like by popping that thumbs up icon. And please share this video with friends who may appreciate and enjoy the content, especially on social media. Finally, please consider subscribing to my channel for more ham radio chats. As always, I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm at your service. 73 until the next time, I'm out.